Hi, this is Don Thomas, owner of SiliconValleyAndBeyond.com and MoveToTheBeach.com. Here's step two of the home selling process. The home selling process, step two. Pre-marketing activities and considerations. Now that you've chosen a realtor, completed the necessary paperwork, and consulted with your advisors, it's time to begin preparing your home for sale. This is the time to get organized and declutter each room in your home. The old adage, less is more, really does apply here. The way we live in our home is much different than the way we present it and have it on the market. The typical rule of thumb is you want to keep 60% of your belongings in the home and pack and store 40%. You're going to move anyway, so you might as well get at it. Packing, sorting, and placing things as storage is time definitely well spent. You are guaranteed to get more interest if buyers can easily see the size of rooms, potential furniture layout, and available storage. They like to know that they have enough room in the home that you're trying to sell for all their belongings. Conducting inspections prior to your home going on the market is vital. Identifying any needed repairs in advance allows you to address these prior to your home hitting the multiple listing service. There are four key inspections for a typical single family home and they include a property, a termite pest, a roof, and a chimney inspection. Those inspections are usually done by four different professionals. Providing inspection reports and doing needed repairs in advance reassures buyers, making them feel more at ease about placing an offer on your home. These reports minimize the buyer's ability to negotiate a lower sales price or contingencies that keep your property tied up. Once the inspection reports are received, I will review them carefully and make recommendations on any repairs that I feel are warranted. Fixing issues before your property enters the market puts you, the seller, in the driver's seat with regards to negotiating the highest possible sales price. The next step in the process is to deep clean your house. Gleaming floors, sparkling windows, spotless bathrooms, and immaculate kitchens make a huge difference in showcasing a home. It also allows your home to shine in professional photographs, a key element in marketing your home. I have fantastic recommendations for house cleaning services if you don't already have a preferred cleaner of your own. Now that your house has been decluttered, professionally clean, and all repairs have been made, your home is ready to be staged to look and show its best. Just like each of the previous steps, staging a home is a must. A home can be staged using a combination of the owner's items augmented with pieces from the staging company, or the entire home can be professionally staged. Staged homes yield sellers approximately three to 6% more on their bottom line, more than non-staged homes. Last but not least is having your residence professionally photographed. This is a vital key step before putting your house on the market. Photos are generally scheduled and paid for by your realtor as part of the marketing of your property. You don't need to be home when the photos are, are taken. As a matter of fact, we prefer that you're not. We will let you know when the photographer will be on site so that you can do a few final touch-ups to prepare. Depending on the size of your house, the videographer and photographer are usually the same person. If an estate or home warrants it, we have a separate party who will shoot a drone video. Before your home goes on the market, my team and I will let other realtors know about your residence. This is called a pocket listing. It creates a buzz about your home, getting the agents and the buyers in the marketplace excited that it's coming. It builds momentum for the actual go-to live date and open house events. Sometimes properties will sell off market, but as your fiduciary, it's always my suggestion that you allow me to take it to market to provide full exposure, yielding you the highest possible price for your property. Now is the time to start thinking about managing your pets during the entire process of selling your house. There will be a lot of people in and out of your home during this period. Think about where you will keep your pets during vendor visits, buyer showings, and open house events. 
ultimately, when you sell homes, you will have to put a plan in place to make the move as stress-free as possible for you and your furry family members. If you need any suggestions in this area, do let me know as I have two dogs myself. You'll find all of this information and more in much greater detail on our website, siliconvalleyandbeyond.com under the cell tab. Thank you. So let's move on to the next step. 